Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about my 24 week update and I also want to show y'all a haul. So if that is something that you're interested in, please keep watching. I swear, Chanel always has to make her appearance. Bye. So let's start with my 24 week update. I cannot believe I am six weeks. That's just so crazy. Time is going by so quickly. It's just crazy to think in just a few more months that she will be here. So I'm super, super excited. All right, so beginning with my 24 week symptoms. Actually, let's talk about how big she is. So I'm gonna check my bump app and see how big she is. So it says you are Chanel accepted distraction. What are you doing? gosh I wish y'all could see her okay so my app says welcome back you're 24 weeks pregnant 15 weeks and four days to go so crazy so my baby is as big as a cantaloupe that's pretty big she is 11.8 inches and 1.30 pounds so she is growing and growing so it is saying drink up around 24 weeks your doctor will order a glucose tolerance test and that is to see if you're at risk for diabetes. And then it's basically a test to see how your body processes sugar. You'll be asked to drink a cup of a sweet drink called Glucola. So I actually have my test that I'm supposed to do, I think it's next week or the week after. And um, hopefully I pass. They told me just to kind of keep watching what I've been eating and to make sure to not go in and like have something sugary before um, my testing so if you have done that test let me know your thoughts tips anything like that I would greatly appreciate them all so supposedly my body at 24 weeks is supposed to have swollen ankles and feet leg cramps back aches and my linea negra is supposed to be showing a lot um, and then stretch marks ah. My symptoms that I have been having so far is leakage. So yes, I have been having leakage and it's kind of crazy because I'll be just sitting there and then I feel something wet. <laughs> and so I just look down and there it is. It kind of like freaked me out at first, but now I'm used to it because it happens so much. Nausea, I have had a little bit of nausea. Like I said, it's not an everyday occurrence how it used to be. I did have about two days where I was not feeling well and one day I just stayed in bed all day and pretty much slept all day. I was not feeling good at all. We had to cancel um, my dog's training classes because I just did not feel good and did not want to get out of bed. So I had a lot of nausea and like a lot of um, pain in my stomach area. So that was not good, but thankfully I'm better now. Back pain. Um, I'm continuing to have a little bit of back pain, not as much as I used to, but I'm sure that'll stick around for a while and probably worsen within the few weeks coming. I am having cramps in my lower abdomen. Yesterday, um, I was just standing up and I was just freaking out because my stomach was hurting so bad, like down here, and I could just feel her moving and I don't know if she was like turning or if she was like moving down or what it was but it was hurting so bad and it was just it felt like a cramp and it would just come and go within a few seconds so I read online that it could be Braxton Hicks already I don't know if that's what I was experiencing or not or if it was just a cramp or if she was just moving I don't know so I've been having aching feet a lot of um, times when we're walking around my feet will start hurting. I haven't had swelling yet, so that's good. Fourth of July weekend, we were walking around a lot, and um, especially to go see the fireworks, everybody wants to be there, so it's crowded, and parking's kind of hard and far to find. So my feet were definitely sore after that. I feel like I have been very emotional lately. My husband says that I'm way too emotional. I was sitting in her nursery, I'm always in here, and I was just hanging up her little clothes that um, I had just bought her. And I just would run out there and I'm like, look at this little outfit, isn't it so cute? And I was like, it's so cute, I could cry. And he's just like, you're way too emotional. <laughs> and so 
so um but it's just so cute like her little clothes is just so cute and it's just crazy to think that she'll be here in a few more months and um it's just been so much fun getting everything ready and setting everything up so i'm enjoying the process emotional or not i also was looking at pictures of when we first got our um dog also He's six months now, he's a German Shepherd, but I was looking at videos and pictures of when he was a baby and when we first got him and I was like almost about to cry. I was tearing up and my husband's just like, you're crazy, so <laughs> I don't know. I haven't had any weight gain yet, I just weighed myself today. I'm still at the same um, weight and I watched this other YouTuber's video and when she was at the same 24 weeks she had already gained 24 pounds so um, I haven't gained anything yet so I'm sure within the next few weeks I'll start gaining some weight and another thing is I'm not exercising um, like anything crazy I used to exercise a lot but with work um, it just I know it's an excuse but I was just so tired after work and then I worked early mornings too so I didn't want to get up extra extra early and go to the gym but I haven't been working out because I didn't want to start working out while I was pregnant when I wasn't even working out before I was pregnant you know but I have been walking a lot um, like I said we do have a German Shepherd he's six months old and he can get very hyper sometimes so we like to go on walks at night we'll probably walk for like an hour or so and um, I hear walking helps you a lot so that's good I did do some prenatal yoga and Pilates and I really enjoyed that so I just found videos on YouTube and started doing that and then I'm not like on a strict diet or anything I kind of just eat what I feel like eating because since the beginning weeks that I was pregnant I just could not eat anything nothing sound appetizing or appealing to me so I kind of just eat what I'm hungry for in the moment so that may be like Chinese food or like chicken tenders not the healthiest so no crazy diets over here or anything and I'm taking my prenatal vitamins I will show you those too I get very very thirsty so I have my cup with me that I always fill up with water ice cold water carry that around with me I get very very thirsty um, in the middle of the night or like in the morning when I wake up before I go to bed just all throughout the day I'm always thirsty and yes that means that I do have to pee a lot so I will get comfy in bed and then I'm like great I have to go use the bathroom and so um, I probably wake up maybe once or twice during the night and I'll have to go use the bathroom which before I never used to get up I was such a heavy sleeper wouldn't wake up till the next morning but now I have to get up at least once or twice to go use the bathroom okay so really quick I want to talk about the vitamins that I've been taking I am taking Nutrilite vitamins which they are all organic and they are all natural and so Nutrilite is the only global vitamin and mineral brand to grow, harvest, and process plants on their own certified organic farms. So this is a brand that I have a lot of trust in and I've been taking their vitamins ever since I was a little kid. So I really, really recommend these vitamins. Of course, talk to your doctor. These have already been approved by my doctor. I just feel so confident in knowing that they're organic and there's no chemicals or pesticides or anything like that in them and um, that they are not harming my baby. So let me show you real quick what I'm taking. So I have the double X that I take, and so it's just three um, tablets that I take, and it has 22 vitamins and minerals and 20 plant concentrates in it. I will also put the link down below where you can purchase these vitamins if you are interested. You open it and it has like I said, three of them. I need to order some more, I'm running out. But inside it tells you what it comes, um, what comes in them. So there's so many great, wonderful things that come in here. There's like biotin, vitamin B12, folic acid, vitamin B6, vitamin D, vitamin C, vitamin A, so much um, good stuff for you to take. So I take that and then I have my iron and my calcium that I'm taking. And so what I do is I just carry this little pack with me. So it's just a little Neutralite um, pack. 
where you can carry your vitamins in. So in here I have, what it looks like, it looks kind of like a spaceship. But this is what I take, so this is my iron, the, the white ones are my calcium, this one is my vitamin C, then I have these three over here which are the double X that I was talking about, and then I have my lecithin and my digestive enzymes. So those help you use the bathroom. So I strongly recommend Neutralite. They are the world's leading brand in vitamins, mineral, and dietary supplements. They've been around for 80 plus years, and there's just so much um, great research that you can look into it. If you want to know more about it, just ask me questions. And like I said, I will put the website down below where you can purchase them. So that is it for my 24 week update. That's all I can think of right now. So now that that is over with, I want to continue with a little haul that I have. So first of all, I want to show you this cute little nightlight. I think it's super adorable. It says, once upon a time, a princess had sweet dreams. And so of course, our little girl's gonna be a princess. And then I love that it's a castle, cause again, our last name's Castillo, which means castle in English. So I thought that was super cute. These next few items are going to be from Baby Gap and I just think they're so adorable. Again, I want them to be in my size. Why don't they make it in my size? But whatever. <laughs> so here's these little um, leggings. They're polka dots. They have hot pink and some light blue and some navy on them. So this is what they look like. And these are three to six months. So she can wear those soon, and like you might know, she'll be here in the fall, so it'll be cold and she can wear those. This next top I absolutely love. It is just this cute little baby pink shirt, and it has lace on it, like these little eyelets and cutouts and everything. So I just thought this was super adorable, and this is three to six months as well. So here's the other one. I love this one. This is a mint color and it kind of has like some little glitter lines going through it. And this is six to 12 months. You can wear with some little shorts or some jeggings. And then the back has these little buttons. It's cute little bows right here. Next is something similar to that, but it is in pink and it also has the little glitter on it. And so this is just a little one piece. So it has the, um, the bottoms like attached here. It's just cute little dress. And then the back, these are so cute, the little straps. And that is six to 12 months. So she can have that for the summertime. This next dress I love. I feel like it's something that I would definitely wear. And I feel like it's very anthropology kind of. So it's just this cute little dress. It's like chiffon and it has like the little pleated at the bottom and this fabric. I don't know if you can see a little pattern. But it just has these cute little ruffles up here, the buttons. And this is six to 12 months. So she can wear this in the summer. And I think this would be so cute paired with like some little gold sandals. Oh, so cute, just love it. And the last thing from Gap is this cute little onesie. It says, hello, daddy. It's in glitter writing and then it has some little florals on it. And this is six to 12 months, so I love this. You can feel her kicking right now. She's moving a lot. <laughs> so these next few items are going to be from baby boutiques that um, were purchased in Fort Worth, I believe, like Fort Worth, Dallas area. So they have a lot of cute baby stuff out there, very unique things, not stuff that you find um, just at your regular baby store, so I really love that. But you know that I love floral print, and so I found this cute little gown, and it is just pink and green, so I love pink and green together, anything floral. And I thought this little gown was just super cute, and it also comes with a matching little hat, and it also has a matching blanket that goes with it. It's a pretty big size blanket. I think this would be cute to um, swaddle her in or if it's cold or even like if I'm feeding her and I just want to cover up or something. Um, so many things that you can use this for but I just love 
this pattern. We just have these cute little headbands right here. It's like a hot pink one, a little cheetah print, and a light pink. So these are super cute and stretchy. We have this mint and this pink one. And then we have this little headband as well. This will match perfectly with that gown that I was showing you. And then we have these cute four little headbands. It's in gray, mint green, cream, and pink. So I love the elastic shimmery um, headbands. I thought those would be so cute and they're so tiny. Love this one. This would be cute for some newborn pictures. It's just a little crown, it's like a knitted crown. And it has some gold little detailing up here. This little hat with an A on it. I thought that was so cute. And these next headbands, um, one of our friends actually made them for her. I just think they're super adorable. She knows me so well because I love shabby chic and like just white and lace. So here's the first one. Next are two little bib clips, or not bib clips, um, passy clips. A little mint green one with that cute pattern. And we have the pink one with polka dots. I think those are super, super cute. And you just clip it onto their shirts, and that way it'll clip on, and they can just reach for it, and you won't be losing your passies. These are some cute little bibs. These are just from Target. It says, I love daddy, big time snacker and then just this cute little pattern. So I do love navy and pink together like I have mentioned before. One of my favorite things that I'm excited to show y'all are these cute little dividers. This is from Lucy Darling and um, I believe we found these at a baby boutique but you can find them online as well. And they have so many cute stuff. So they're just little dividers and it's from zero months all the way up to 2T I think. So I already have them in the closet and I already have all her clothes separated but I just think they're so adorable and I love, love, love the flower patterns on them because they're all different colors. There's like pink ones, coral, um, cream, blue, orange, all these fun colors. So next are just some little toys, kittens. There's two of them and they're rattles. This cute little doll and she has, of course, little shabby chic floral gown on. Also a rattle, so I thought that was super cute. Next we have this little lamb and you just pull it and it plays some music. Now that's gonna keep playing music, <laughs> but that's okay. And the next is this pillow and I truly, truly love this pillow. It matches perfectly in her room. It's from Target as well, and it goes perfect with that um, other bear pillow with the little flower crown. So I'll put this next to it, but I thought that was so cute. And the last things are blankets. So I just have this huge blanket, and it's just this fun, like stretchy fabric, and it's white. And um, I think I'll just put this maybe hanging over her, um, chair that we're gonna have I keep forgetting what they're called but just like the little couches that you have so I'll probably have this and just cover up with that whenever it gets chilly because it's super lightweight also these crib sheets that I got they're just like a little mint kind of turquoise color with white hearts this last one is this super adorable quilt that my sweet friend made for me there was just so much left put into this blanket and it's like such a perfect size so I can cover her with it or like if she wants to have tummy time or something so I'll kind of show you all that and the back side is this hot pink color so I love 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 this blanket all right guys and that was it for this video I hope that you enjoyed it please subscribe and like this video and also follow me on Instagram my username is at Amy Cast. I just want to say thank you to all of those who have subscribed to me and that are watching my videos thank you it means a lot to me stay tuned for the next video bye